Hi! Welcome to my channel! At kung bago ka lang dito ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong math tutorial videos. So, we have been solving quadratic equations in three ways. Extracting square roots, factoring, and completing the square. Today, we will discuss another way of solving quadratic equation, the quadratic formula. And what is quadratic formula? So, quadratic formula is used to solve any kind of quadratic equation where a is not equal to 0 and b squared minus 4ac is greater than or equal to 0. And you can read this formula as x equals to the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a and the nice thing about the quadratic formula is that the quadratic formula always works there are some quadratics na hindi kayang isolve gamit yung ibang method but the quadratic formula will always spit out an answer whether or not the quadratic expression was factorable so let's try to our first example x squared minus 6x is equal to negative 8. So step number 1, write in standard form. So standard form ito class is x squared minus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0. So ginamitan lang natin ng addition property of equality. Nag-add lang tayo ng 8 sa both sides ng equation. Okay, next, second step is determine the values of a, b, and c. So, a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 6, and c is equal to positive 8. So, yung a is a numerical coefficient na quadratic term. Yung b naman ay doon sa linear term, at yung c, yung ating constant term. Third step, substitute the values of a, b and c in the quadratic formula but don't forget to use parentheses around the coefficients when you're first plugging them into the quadratic formula especially when any of those coefficient is negative so you don't lose any minus sign so like this Kung mapapansin nyo, yung mga values na inilagay natin sa formula ay nasa loob class ng parenthesis para hindi na rin kayo malito, lalo na kapag mayroong negative sign. Okay, so next, uh, dito isa-isahin natin isolve para mas lalo nyo maintindihan ang paggamit ng quadratic formula. So, unahin na natin yung minus 6 times the quantity of negative 6. Since negative times negative is positive, ang sagot natin dito ay positive 6. So next, doon naman tayo class sa negative 6 raised to the second power. So negative 6 times negative 6 is positive 36. So next is minus 4 times 1 times 8. So, negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 times 8 is minus 32. And then, yung ating denominator na 2 times 1 is positive 2. Tapos, kunin natin class or simplify natin yung nasa loob ng radical. 36 minus 32 is 4. Pagkatapos, kunin na natin yung square root ng 4. So, square root ng 4 is 2. So, meron na tayong x is equal to 6 plus or minus 2 all over 2. And then, last step is solve for the value of x. At para mas lalo nyo maintindihan, uh, pag-iwalay na natin. So, magiging x is equal to 6 plus 2 
divided by 2 and x is equal to 6 minus 2 divided by 2. So, yung plus and minus, dito natin nakuha. Pinagiwalay lang natin para mas lalo nyong maintindihan o para mas maintindihan ng lahat. And then, solve natin. 6 plus 2 is 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Then, 6 minus 2 is 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. So, our solution and final answer is x is equal to 4 and 2. Okay, so proceed tayo sa ating next example. 4x squared plus 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. So, since naka-standard form na yung given natin, uh, kunin na natin class yung values ng A, B, and C. A is equal to 4, B is equal to 3, and C is equal to negative 2. Then, uh, substitute the values of A, B, and C in the formula. So, magiging uh, x is equal to minus the quantity of 3 plus or minus the square root of the quantity of 3 raised to the second power minus 4 times the quantity of 4 times the quantity of negative 2 all over 2 times the quantity of 4. Okay, so isa-isa yun ulit natin. So, negative times the quantity of positive 3 is negative 3. Tapos, 3 raised to the second power. So, 3 times 3 is positive 9. Okay, next, uh, minus 4 times the quantity of 4 is negative 16. And negative 16 times negative 2 is positive 32 or plus 32. Okay, next is 2 times 4 is positive 8. And then, add natin class yung nasa loob ng radical, uh, radical symbol natin. 9 plus 32 is 41. So, magiging uh, x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root of 41 all over 8. So, yung 41, hindi siya perfect square at wala din siyang uh, perfect square factor. So, meaning absolutely nothing will simplify here. So, we are done. So, our answer are uh, x is equal to negative 3 plus square root of 41 all over 8 and x is equal to negative 3 minus square root of 41 all over 8.